going on people? Malark's here today and we're back for another video on YouTube, of course. So today we picked out another player to review, this time Crepin Diata. So he's got a road to the knockout card, they're in the Europa League. Uh, Monaco, they, they probably should go far in the competition, so this is a card that is more than likely going to go up, go quite high. It's currently rated at 82. Obviously if Monaco were to win the next three games and go through, it could be an 86 by December. Plus, I'd favour Monaco in, in there to, to really get far in the competition. So, let's have a look at Diata's card. Obviously, he was big on FIFA 21 last year. Very pacey player. Again, as you can see, just slightly from his stats, a little bit on the left, that he's still very pacey. So, he's high medium. He's 5'9". 4-star, four 4-star. He's right-footed. He's looking very good already. I really enjoyed his card last year. It was a what-if promo card. So, obviously, we knew he was pacey anyway. 94 acceleration, 96 sprint speed. Um, other than that, it's not looking that great though. He's shooting, 72 attacking position, 75 finishing, 80 shot power, 80 long shots. So I'm going to put a dead eye, dead eye on him. Otherwise, you know, his stats ain't going to look too good. Passing, 74. Not great. Again, 77 short pass, 73 long pass, 70 curve. He's crossing 75. So his shooting and passing is not great. Being honest, I know we haven't used him yet. He's looking like a super sub already. And you guys is dribbling 98 agility, so he's going to be very hard to stop, really. Once he turns, it's going to be very hard to keep up with him. 84 balance, 75 reactions, 80 ball control, 85 dribbling, 76 composure. So, yeah, there, there's a few slight problems already with a card. I'm not going to lie, you're going to need a few upgrades. One of them cards where if it gets upgraded a little bit, it's going to be a great card. Now, his physical stats have everything. Obviously, his pace is very good. His physical stats are, are very good. 99 jumping, 5 foot 9 as well. So he's going to be good in the air. 98 stamina, so you're never going to really need to take him off either. For those that are lucky, like myself, who have Kante in the team, you know how good someone like that is in the team when they've got like 97 stamina, 98 stamina, who can just continue to play all game. 68 strength, which is decent as well, that's not bad for a winger. And 63 aggression, so the cards shooting and passing is not great. Considering obviously he's a winger, you're going to expect him to get goals and assists. But listen, we haven't used him yet, this is only stats, we all know not every stat on FIFA is accurate, so... Uh, player traits, got speed dribbler. Well, look, let's have a look. See what he's like in Division 1 rivals. Oh, he's won a penalty already, Dieta. That's what I was saying about his agility. His agility is very high. So when he turns, he just leaves people. Look, as you can see here, look. And he turns again, and then he ends up getting the foul. Very lucky, but... There we go, that's what we said about that leap. I know he didn't win the header, but... Again, his acceleration is very, very good. Actually leaves people. I can see this being a very good super sub. His passing and everything else isn't too good, which is the problem. Great assist, there we go, Diata. So, as you see from the footage, Diata's very, very good. I'm not gonna lie, 
his shooting and passing is is not good enough really if if you're playing foot champs you're playing rivals a lot of people now are starting to get into division two division one i don't think this card's good enough for for that sort of division um, as you see from the footage he did have a few shots that wasn't great straight at the goalkeeper missed the target his passing wasn't great so don't get me wrong this card is an absolute unreal super sub it is a great super sub but you know, you think the amount of times I run past people like they weren't even there. He did get a few assists in the games that I played with him, but yeah, his finishing's not good enough, as you can see. And even with like a, sh um, there's no point putting a hunter on him. I mean, he's got 94 acceleration, like six sprint speed. But he's like I said, his finishing shot power, long shots, even his attacking position, it's all not good enough. So this card really does need a few upgrades. But it's a really good card. You know, if you've got, if you just need pacey wingers and you just need people to just get to the byline and just sort of pass the ball across this is the man you know i'm getting a dharma vibes from this card it's a very 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 good card but like i said quality wise shooting and passing not good enough but like i said he won the penalty as well because his dribbling is very good like his agility wise he just turns so quickly obviously jumping as well he's able to get up stamina wise he can last the whole game he can continue to keep sprinting up and down and, and that, that can play into your hands as well, obviously, if he keeps running in behind, running in behind, you know, it's going to make the fullback stamina go down, then you can bring on fresh legs. So, there's a lot of pros and cons with the card. Like I said, I think now that we're getting through FIFA, we're getting through the different stages of FIFA, you need a bit more quality in your team. Sadly, this isn't going to give you the quality, but for a super sub, this is a very good card. This is a card that I will keep in my team. Um, I do play in like Division 1 Rivals, I do, I have had rank 1 in foot champs. So this is a card that I would keep in my team off the bench, 100%. Uh, it cost me 50k, the card. It's obviously going to go down. The promo's been out for about an hour now. But yeah, it is a nice card, but just quality-wise, not good enough. If I was to give it a rating out of 10, it's a 7. If we was to say a super sub, you're going to say, I'd probably say 8.5. But yeah, if you want to play this card in your team, it's a 7 out of 10. Obviously, it's not exactly the easiest card to link in either, because obviously, he's from Senegal. And he plays for Monaco as well, which is Liga R. There is a, a lot of players you can link in with him, to be fair. Like the Fofana SBC has just come out. But yeah, it, I'd give it a, a 7 out of 10 if you was to start this card in your team. But that's all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. I've really, really enjoyed back on FIFA 22 content. Watch out for more content. Like, subscribe, comment. And until next time, 